Hey, what's up guys? Clash with Ryguy here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a couple of farming raids that I've been doing. Uh, lately, I have been avoiding the uh, Lava Loonian attack because the balloons got nerfed a while back, and uh, that was a long time ago, but I am officially coming back, and lately what I've been using to farm is um, Balloonian. I've come to realize that it's the best farming strategy um, in the meta right now, just because it's not too hard to three star uh, Town Hall 11s with it, and there's a lot of loot available, and uh, Lava Loonian doesn't take many resources, especially when you're only training uh, two hounds and then getting one in the, in the CC, so you're able to accumulate more Dark Elixir and you're not spending too much. Um, it only takes about 2,000 Dark Elixir. Um, so on average, I'm gaining about probably 3,000 Dark Elixir profit on average. Um, sometimes it could be a lot more rough because uh, raids don't go your way. Uh, you miss the Warden's ability or you did it too late or the Hay spells took the uh, Warden's ability out of reach. Um, but it's just, it's just how it goes. Uh, can't be perfect every time. Uh, we're going to go over uh, a few of my attacks here. Or we're going to do... We're going to go over one, just explain what's going on in this attack, and then I'm going to do a live raid. Um, so here's the replay. Uh, not too bad of a base. I mean, um, it doesn't have a, an eagle, so it's pretty much just a town hall uh, 10, so not too hard at all. But um, looking at this base, uh, I'm looking for the air sweepers, and we see the air sweeper right here and we see the air sweep right here. So we know that it's this one's going to the north and this one's going to the uh, southeast. So I'm gonna attack from this side because there's no air sweepers I have to fight and it helps that the queen is right here so I can rage my balloons and minions in the core along with the Grand Warden's ability when my troops get there. So that's how I decided where I was gonna attack from. Uh, I spread the Lava Hounds across these two air defenses, uh, basically just supporting all the balloons. So we're going to start it up here, just basically spamming all the balloons in. There's a ton of balloons in this raid, so you don't have to be afraid to bunch them up. Uh, Grand Warden's ability, well, Grand Warden afterwards, along with the minions to support those balloons, and dropped all my hate spells to get those balloons uh, into the core faster. Dropped the Warden's ability, not the best Warden's ability, because I didn't hit all those balloons, but it worked out fine. Uh, dropped another rage here. Rages all along the core. There's plenty of rages in this uh, attack, so I don't really have to be too cautious about my uh, my usage of them. Uh, only one free spell because there's two Inferno Towers. The Inferno Towers aren't even that important, uh, but the Grand Warden's ability is able to support my balloons and get them through that first Inferno Tower while I can use the free spell to get through that second Inferno Tower. Uh, I dropped my heroes here and they are just going to clean up the rest of the space. I mainly did it because I my Warden died anyway so I was going to have to wait 40 minutes to get my next attack in so it didn't matter if my heroes lost any health. Uh, I dropped the uh, Queen ability right there and we are going to get 3 star in this one. Not too hard of a raid at all, um, and this attack strategy has been really good for me. I went from uh, oh, thank you, Allah. Um, I went from Champions One to Titan Three. I gained 200 trophies in the last, uh, I think, week. Um, I got 30 attacks in last season, but it's not that much uh, because I was only attacking for the last few days of the season. Um, the the Christmas update really got me back into the game. So I've just been trying to grab my heroes out. Um, I got my queen up to 47. She will be level 50, I'm guessing, within the next month or two. Uh, and then I'll max that king out. But all right, we're gonna get into our uh, t into the live attack here. All right, this is uh, this is the first base I found. Uh, beautiful loot, Town Hall 10, uh, gold storages, elixir storages, and dark elixir are all. I'm pretty full for uh, for a Town Hall 10 for me to attack Town Hall 10. Um, so looking at this base, uh, it's a max Town Hall 10. The Air Sweeper is north right here, and then the other Air Sweeper is... I'm not sure where the other one is. Oh, it's down here. So I think the best place to attack from is just going to be from over here on this side, because the Queen is right here, so we're going to drop one, two, three. 
spam the balloons behind, make sure I get all of these defenses here. And we're going to drop a few extra minions right there on that queen. We're going to drop the warden's ability early just to make sure my uh, troops don't get picked off super early by that queen. Uh, drop the haste spells. Uh, that inferno tower went down. Drop another rage right here. These balloons are going to go towards the center. We're going to drop a rage right there. Freeze all that up. Drop a poison in the middle because of those air skellies. And we just absolutely dominated this base. Uh, I'm not even going to need to drop my uh, my heroes at all, but I will anyways. Might as well just uh, clean this up faster. Uh, Warden is still pretty good on health. Got him. Hopefully this uh, archer tower doesn't take out all my balloons so that... Oh, wow. Where did all my balloons go? Okay. Um, plenty of minions, so we're going to be just fine here. Not too worried at all. King can't do anything. Expo can't take out all those minions and the balloons that are about to attack it. So we're, we're perfectly fine here. Pop the Queen's ability and we're going to take out the rest of these defenses here. And this strategy is definitely one that you, sh you should check out. Um, it's not only for Town Hall 11s. It also works at uh, Town Hall 8. Um, occasionally at Town Hall 8. That's going to be a little bit of a stretch. Mainly Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 for farming. Uh, it's very cost effective and you'll probably enjoy using it.